Conference for the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, or UNESCO. Many focus on recycling and keeping bigger pieces of plastic out of our waters. Yeah, but research shows there is a small, sneaky form of plastic that's still making its way in. Tonight, ABC Action News in-depth reporter Rochelle Aline digs deeper into microplastics to learn more about what they are, where they come from, and what we can do about them. It's no secret that things can get into our water that shouldn't be there. But water quality experts say one pollutant in particular called microplastic is getting worse. And the problem is these tiny pieces of plastic aren't easy to see with the naked eye. So to learn if there were any in the Tampa Bay area waterways, we gathered samples from the Hillsborough Bay, the Hillsborough River, and Old Tampa Bay and drove them down to a lab at the water school at Florida Gulf Coast University to find out. So we'll start with the Hillsborough River. FGCU water school student Savannah Reiners helped us process our samples. I'm like scared to spill it. By filtering the water onto several small collection pads. Then it was off to the microscope room for an analysis. This is gonna be from clothes. So that's a microplastic. We're over and over. There's another one, but that's another fiber. She spotted microplastics, many of them most likely from clothing. Oh, there's two right there. Yep, the red one and then another fiber. Her professor, Dr. Puspa Adhikari, studies microplastics. He says most often they come from everyday plastics that we use, which break down into smaller pieces and end up in our water. And he says it's a problem that's much bigger than the Tampa Bay area. All the samples that we analyze here, I, we have been analyzed here from groundwater well to bays to river to gulf, all the samples we have uh, microplastic. Professor Adhikari adds that microplastics are also making their way into the food chain and eventually into our bodies. And the long-term effects of this are still being studied. The other thing is like microplastic, they are not only harmful by themselves, but they uh, act as a vector for other contaminants. So what's the fix? Well, according to Professor Adhikari, it's a little too late to try and reverse the damage that's already been done. Once they are in the water bodies, getting out, getting them out of the water bodies is, I would say, almost impossible, if not uh, very, very difficult. Instead, he says we can focus on not making the problem worse. And a good way to start is by making lifestyle changes, like adjusting how often you do laundry to help cut down on those plastic fibers. Have a big load of laundries instead of doing laundries every time. Reusing clothes, that's what I do. Like if, I, if it is, doesn't sting, I use tomorrow also kind of thing. That will minimize your laundry by half. But overall, he says, it will come down to reducing our collective use of all plastics. It will take some time, but if you stop using them or minimize using them now, in long run, maybe, I don't, who knows, 50 years, 100 years, or a couple of hundred years from now, we'll be hopefully uh, out of microplastic if we stop using it now. In Fort Myers, with photojournalist Josh Woodston, I'm in-depth reporter Rochelle Aline. All right, let's check back in with Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips.